Hello everyone, welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very warm welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Welcome to the family. In today's reading, we're going to look into what is the nature and personality of your true love. There are three piles over here. This is the first pile, the blue flower, the second pile, the red flower, and the third pile, the green flower. So please take a moment, meditate on the cards, and use your intuition to choose the pile. You could also pause the video to meditate on them. And when you're ready, we'll begin with the first pile, the blue flower. Welcome, Power One. All those have chosen the blue flower. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into what is the nature and personality of your true love. Okay, so I've pre-shuffled the cards over here. Before starting Power One, I'll just make a quick announcement. So besides offering a personal tarot reading, soul reading and coaching, I'm also offering two courses. The first one is if you'd like to learn tarot card reading and become a tarot card reader. So it's a tarot course. And the second one is if you'd like to start your own online spiritual business. So that would be a three month course. So if you need more information, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below, or you could follow me on Instagram called monica.whispermystery. All right. So let's begin with the reading. And first we have here Ace of Coins. This one does here. Okay. Then we have Six of Cups. Okay. We have Ace of Swords, okay, we have Mysticism, Gossip, Truth, Rest and Rejuvenate, and we have Image Number Eight. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here, part one, and we'll see what is the nature and personality of your true love. Okay, so right from the Six of Cups here, what I'm feeling is that um, for a lot of you, you probably already know this person. So if you're of an age where, you know, you're more uh, maybe in your mid-20s or anything beyond that, this could be someone here who is um, from your past, someone whom you already have been in contact with, okay? And if that's not the case, if you don't feel that, then I do feel like this would be someone who um, would be part of your friend circle. So this person would be your friend first before developing into having a more um, love or serious relationship here with this person. So you and this person here would have a very deep bond and very deep connection here with each other and that's also because very strongly I'm getting a past life feeling um, from this pile one so you would feel like you already know this person when you meet this person when you both interact you would automatically feel very comfortable in opening yourself up here to this person okay and that is because like I said there is a past life connection out there so you would feel this familiarity, you would feel this openness and this trust which you're able to have here for this person. So this could be a very big sign for a lot of you watching. It's not going to be where you'd have to try to have conversations or try to impress this person or something like that. I don't feel that. I feel like it's going to be very, very natural. And you both would feel like children when you're with each other. You know, you would just feel so open, so transparent. You're able to talk about so many different things. You'll be able to talk about your feelings very, very easily without putting any additional effort here. It's like, you know, children, when they speak to each other, you don't see them thinking, what should we talk about? What should we do? It just happens very organically, right? So that's the connection here, which you are going to have with this person. So um, what I'm seeing this person is someone very, very grounded. Um, maybe for some of them could be earth signs as well okay but it's someone here who is very grounded who's not afraid to stand up for themselves who's not afraid here to uh to start things from the ground especially with the ace of coins here so what i'm feeling is this person could be like a self starter where they're not afraid to begin something new in their life especially when it comes to building materialistic things here in their life you would not see this fear in this person's eyes 
they uh, would be someone who'd come across to be very bold when it comes to um, building their own career, starting something on their own. They are just very strong and very rooted. They're not afraid of hard work at all. With the Ace of Swords, I'm also getting the feeling like when they speak, they would be exceptional. So they could be like an exceptional speaker. They would be very good in their spoken or written language here. So they kind of have two strong gifts and they use this as well to their advantage here because here I'm seeing like this um, hawk, this eagle kind of over there. So I feel that this person is very intelligent. They know how to use their words to their advantage. And it could be as well where, you know, when this person speaks or talks, you would just feel like listening to them and um, what they have to say. They would come across to be someone extremely wise for their age. They would have a lot, a lot of wisdom out there, I'm sensing. With this gossip card, it's very interesting because I feel like this person would love to talk. Okay, it might come across as gossip, but I actually don't feel that. I actually do feel like this person would just like playing around, talking to people and, you know, just have this wonderful conversation. They would be more like a peacemaker in other people's lives. They do not want to create trouble anywhere. They just mind their own business, but they are people's person. They love talking to people. They love getting to know them, what's happening in their life. And this as well, they look as a form of um, growth in their life because you know depends on what other people say they kind of feel like oh okay this is what people think this is what people feel I could do something about this or I could bring that as an advantage in my business so they grow with it they look at it as a growing opportunity they don't they don't just talk for the sake of talking and then forget about it they remember every aspect of it okay and because they're such exceptional speakers as well people would love talking to them people the thing is, I feel people would be more open in sharing with this person what they feel. Because this person, I feel, they would not be very, very open about themselves, um, except when it comes to you and maybe one, two other people. Besides that, it's like other people would feel very comfortable in talking to them, discussing with them, sharing with them their emotions and their feelings here. Okay, and with the mysticism as well and and the truth. So I do feel like this person kind of um, speaks up for themselves. They're not afraid of speaking the truth. In fact, I'm sensing from this that it could be a very, very honest individual, a very honest person who um, likes speaking the truth, who stands up, not just for themselves, at times for other people as well. And they're not afraid of it. As I did find initially as well, they come across as someone very um, fearless in standing up um, they could be as well quite involved in maybe some, um, you know, um, like standing up for other people. Oh, I forgot what's that word called. <laughs> but um, it's like NGOs and all that, you know, so supporting committees, so supporting communities um, in their own way. Maybe in their, you know, it depends because I do feel that there is some wealth as well attached here for this person. So if this person... Um, does have wealth, they do use that as well to help other people who are in who are in need. Okay. They are very, very connected to the Mother Earth, are very connected as well, I feel, to their uh, religious or spiritual side here, I'm sensing. And that's the reason why they like to do a lot for other people. There is a sense of pain as well, which I'm seeing attached to um, this person here, like especially in this card. I don't know if you can see this. So if you can see this clearly, there is some sort of pain here, which you can see in this person's eyes. And they do seem to be someone who is very, um, very intelligent, who's gone through a lot in, in life, who's experienced a lot in life. So I do sense that this person from a young age probably has um, experienced quite a lot. And that's the reason why they are so tough. They just, you know, know that if anything life throws at them, they turn lemon into lemonade to that type of people. You know, but they do have few scars. They have not overcome all the pain. And the more you get to know them, you, you will notice and you'll understand that they've actually gone through so much in their life, just tremendous amount. And um, I am sensing as well a lot of um, calmness here with this person. So it's like they bring a lot of calmness in other people's life. They could be someone as well quite... Um, you know, their voice could be very soothing. So when you speak to them as well, you would feel automatically very calm um, in their presence. OK, 
Okay, that's the energy here which I'm sensing. For a lot of you, I don't know why, I feel that maybe this love story as well is a little painful. Don't know why I'm sensing that. I hope it's not, but that's the reason maybe why the Six of Cups as well has come up. And along with this, you know, um, this person's um, expression here I'm sensing. I feel like, um, you know, as there is something about their eyes, really, really um, deep. And I feel like as they age as well, you would notice the changes around their eyes, you know, that would some one thing here which would stand out with this person, that their eyes would speak volumes and that is one thing which would um, automatically attract them towards you and you'll always notice that, especially as they age, you will just notice how, you know, the lines around the eyes or, um, you know, the eye bags kind of to get a bit bigger, something about the eyes here I'm sensing, okay, but they're always someone who wants to do the righteous thing, who wants to move on the right path and they will not hesitate here to speak their truth. Now their truth doesn't mean it's the universal truth, right? This is someone here for whom it feels it's their truth. So what they feel is right for them and what uh, they feel is right as per uh, their expectations of life and society, that is how they are going to speak up. But I am sensing with the mysticism as well is that they are probably quite learned, they are quite, you know, someone who's read um, a lot on political and social issues and everything. So they wouldn't just talk, they would do their research and then of course speak up. But again, that's how they would feel. All right, power one, I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And like I mentioned about the various services, if you're interested, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below. Or you could follow me on Instagram called monica.whispertemystery. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye. Welcome pal to all those who have chosen the red flower. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into um, what is the nature and personality of your true love. So I've pre-shuffled the cards, but before laying this out, I'll just make a quick announcement. So besides offering a personal tarot reading, soul reading, coaching, I'm also offering two courses. The first is if you'd like to learn tarot card reading, so a tarot course. And the second one is if you'd like to start your own online spiritual business. If you need more information, you can email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below, or you could follow me on Instagram called monica.whispertemystery. So let's begin with the reading. And we first have your high priestess. Okay. We have three of wands, 10 of coins, rejection, impartiality, Foundation and achievement, material and spiritual prosperity, and image number 37. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. I get a feeling a lot of you could have been attracted to pile one as well. Okay, right. So pile two, what is the nature and personality of your true love? I do feel that for, um, for quite a lot of you, it could be a possibility where you'd finally or eventually end up here with your true love as well, I'm sensing, okay? Because I'm getting a, a feeling of family here and just means that eventually you could become this family with this person, okay? So I'm sensing here with the three of wands as well that this person would love, love, love traveling, okay? I do feel this. It's like this expansion, this adventure um, is something which this person really enjoys. They love the adventures of life. They love exploring new places, seeing new things, um, having this new experience because I'm getting as well a lot of, you know, um, earth feeling with this, a lot of materialistic feeling from this. So it's kind of reminding me of, you know, the here and now where this person would just love exploring nature, trying new food, new cuisine. It's something here which they would really, really enjoy. Now, um, with the high priestess, I do feel like this person would have a very good sense of intuition 
and it's something as well which they probably would you know um, follow their feelings quite a lot but I don't think they would really call themselves as a spiritual person I don't think they would um, outwardly express that this is a part of them as well because what they like showing around I feel is their practical and material side um, they could be um, they could be quite a show off as well here I'm feeling pile too where they would love love to flaunt what all they have okay they would love to flaunt their you know if they have a beautiful house or if they have a good car their good clothes they're traveling they would probably post that quite a lot on their social media so I feel yeah, this person really loves to flaunt and they like to look good they like people who are good looking as well okay so they really admire all these um, sides of the they like it and they like showing it but I don't think they like showing their spiritual side because it makes them feel more vulnerable okay this kind of speaks like their strength it speaks volume about them so they keep the spiritual side of theirs really really hidden but once in a while you might just hear this person kind of say oh my gut instinct said this my intuition said this or I just didn't get the right feeling you know you might hear this person saying this quite a bit now um they would be as well as much as they would love to flaunt I do feel as well with this ten of coins especially here is a little bit different to the other ten of coins in the other decks right over there you could see a family and everything with money so here I do feel that this person is more like a saver they um, love saving the money and it could be where all this wealth is something which they have accumulated on their own I don't see this in this case to be more of a generation wealth and that's the reason why they could be a little bit more protective about their money um, they could be a little bit more cautious about you know um, how they spend or what they do with it they would be saving it quite a lot they would be thinking about investments but here is more like a self-made person and for them in their eyes things have not come easy okay um, and the reason why I'm seeing is in their eyes because I don't really feel that it's been that difficult as well for them but if you speak for this person they would say like you know things have not come really easy for me I've probably worked quite a lot and all that stuff there is also a creative side to them but again I'm seeing that to be grayed out I'm seeing that to be hidden here so this person does have a tendency to not really show uh, who they truly truly are it's more like they're showing outside the materialistic side because they're so proud of what all they have accomplished right so here they are showing more of their materialistic side but they're not showing their creativity they're not showing their you know the soft and vulnerable side over here and but like I said the more you get to know this person the more you kind of understand they have this other side to them as well um, with the impartiality over here I do feel like this person tries their best okay not to be impartial so not to be partial to anyone and they kind of like to you know take a stand and be more you know someone who doesn't really take anyone's side at all right and um, I just get a feeling that so what I'm feeling is this person is a little bit like a coconut okay they're pretty soft inside but from outside they love this you know image of being rough and everything so deep within though the such person where they do not like to hurt anyone they do not like to you know put one person down or take sides and everything so this is who they truly truly are at a deeper level but yes they might tease someone they probably would pretend like they're taking sides but actually they just love I'm saying here they love peace they love kindness they have this very very soft side to them pile too which is very interesting here I'm sensing so um, I feel like the more you get to know this person the more you kind of explore their vulnerable side the more they'll open up to you and show you the side of theirs because I do feel that as much as you put on this um, this really tough image outside they do have this feeling inside of some sort of form of insecurity some form of people pleasing okay so they're not very um, confident yet in themselves Okay, and that's the reason why they're putting out so much to the outer world because they need that validation okay and it looks here like I said with this image over here is that they're very conscious about how they look they're very conscious about the image of themselves which they put outside towards the world okay and um, that's the reason why they would always be looking after themselves as well how the way they would look and 
one thing is there is that they might also judge other people with the way they look. Okay, that is one thing which I'm seeing with this. Right now, for them is once they've especially gathered um, this wealth which they really wanted here, they really their deep inner side really wants to have a family, settle down, find that happiness in life. Okay. And they do not want to just gather money, grow old and everything. So I do feel here that definitely family is something extremely, extremely important here for this person. And I feel like things would change for this person once they find this emotional stability in their life. It's just going to change and this person is going to be completely different. It's going to bring out, start bringing out the soft side here of this person. They are going to be here more... Um, more generous, they're going to be someone who will be more selfless and think more about their family instead of themselves. So till the time they're not with anyone, I feel here they are very, very focused on themselves and on the material growth, right? But once they find this emotional fulfillment, once they have a family, things are going to change for them. It's going to be like this inner side which they've been hiding, it's going to start coming out because how long can you hide this for, right? So it's going to start coming out and they're going to start feeling this trust factor as well with their partner, which hopefully is you, right? And then so they're going to start feeling this trust factor and they're going to start being more simple in their approach towards life because they would truly understand here. Let me just show you this difference, okay? Yeah, I feel this person is single, okay? You can see more flamboyant, more, you know, enjoying luxuries and very, very materialistic here, but solo. And here you see a family, you see it's a more humble home, okay? And this person as well, the attire is more decent, it's more simple as well. So this person is going to definitely have a massive change here. Instead of just sun, this person has the whole rainbow over here in their lives, right? And this is what their focus is going to be. They're going to start putting a lot of attention, a lot of focus then on their family instead of just here on themselves. So their selfish, self-centered image here is going to change into a selfless person. All right, pal two, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I've already mentioned about all the services in the beginning. So if you're interested in any of them, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below, or you could follow me on Instagram at monica.whisperthemystery. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye. Hello everyone, welcome to Pile 3, the green flower. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into the nature and personality of your true love. Before starting, I'd just like to make a quick announcement. So besides offering a personal tarot reading, soul reading and coaching, I'm also offering two courses. The first is if you'd like to learn tarot card reading, so a tarot course. And the second one is if you'd like to start your own online spiritual business, um, this would be a three month course. If you're interested in any of the services or you'd like to know more, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below, or you could follow me on Instagram called monica.whispertthemystery. So let's begin with the reading here. And we have here first the Eight of Wands. Okay. Then we have Death. Knight of Cups. Prayer, service, deception and envy, recognition and reward, and image number 45. Just tune into the energy here. I, I sense that some of you are probably watching all three piles. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, let me just arrange this a little bit. Okay, hope you can see all the cards. Right, so pile three. Um, for some of you, you could be probably dealing here with a water sign here. Okay, specifically maybe some of you scorpions. 
or maybe you are a Scorpio watching this. Okay, so um, what I'm sensing here with this person, okay, there would be someone who is very action-oriented, extremely romantic, okay, because with the Knight of Cups, it's more like an action or a movement here or a demonstration of love. And even with the service, I do feel that your person or your true love, you'd be someone extremely, extremely romantic. They would surprise you. They would do so many things here to express how they truly feel. And with the Eight of Wands here, there is a feeling of spontaneous within this person. Okay, it's like they do not like waiting. They would be someone who would be very um, hyperactive, okay? It's like once they've decided something, they really want to do it. They lack patience. They truly lack patience here. Um, there would be someone where if they have an idea in mind, they would be, okay, let's do this right now, or I can't wait. I must do this now. Um, there is this feeling like whatever idea comes to their mind, they do not like to waste a lot of time on it. They like to execute things very, very quickly here. Um, with the death card here, it's usually a card of um, a lot of transformation here, and I am feeling this truly for your person. So um, your person here in life would be going through various transformations. So I'm sensing like there would be various um, major events there in their life. One of them here could be where they've actually um, lost a dear one in their life, somewhere in their life. Okay, it could be where they were, you know, when they were a child, or someone very significant. Um, in their life and um, if that's not the case then definitely I'm seeing major events here which has um, transformed this person's life completely and this has changed them quite a lot because they're finally seeing you know it's like we we all of us are kind of like this onion layer right something happens we keep peeling off peeling off peeling off until we find out who we truly are at the deepest level and this is what here I'm sensing for this person here. So a person um, would be someone who would go through um, major, major events in their life, which would trigger them. Okay, so every major, every like couple of years here, when this person is seen, there will be something very different about their personality here, because life, unfortunately, is kind of pushing this towards them. Um, Unfortunately, might not be the right word. I think I would say fortunately because this person would be really lucky where they are transforming because of the events in their life. It's just taking them here closer and closer to who they truly are. Um, this person will come across as someone very positive and optimistic as well. No matter what is happening in their life, they would always be very positive that things would finally work out. They would come out of it and they would be Oh, I just used this phrase in another pile, but I think I'm going to use it over here as well because it makes complete sense. So they would be someone who would turn lemons into lemonade, okay? That's how I'm sensing as well. So I'm seeing a lot of crossovers uh, in this reading today. So um, yes, now I'm also seeing um, this person to be very, um, very giving, very, very emotionally as well giving, they would be there for people. No matter who needs them, they would be there. They might not be there for people in their happy times, but I feel like when someone really needs them, they would not hesitate to pray for that person. They would not hesitate to do something out there for the person to make their lives better. It's because they understand deeper things so much. They have gone through so many um, situations in their own life that they know how it feels. And you know, when we do experience something, we often quite um, resonate with someone else who is experiencing the same. So um, this that's why I feel that this is kind of a blessing here where this person has gone through major events in their life because now they can relate to people and they're able to help them um, no matter what the situation is. I do sense that this person could with the deception and envy, I do feel like this is also a personality and trait of this person where they could be feeling very envious of the other people around them because probably other people have what they have always wanted. Okay, so whatever it is, maybe this person wanted um, a family or they wanted a big business, which they don't have. So whatever they don't have, they do really, really envy here um, of other people who do have it, but they will not show it. Okay, especially with the death card, there's someone wearing a mask out there here, 
but their true nature is that they do feel jealous. They really do. But they would never express it. They would never show it. They would always show their kind and soft side. Um, with the recognition and reward, I do feel like there are silent rewards here for this person. Okay, where they are such a strong individual, a very, very strong individual out there, and life will reward them somewhere or the other. This, I feel, it's a reward from life. It's not like a reward from the university or from their from the workplace or something where the nation has rewarded them. It's not that. I feel here this is a, a reward of karma. This is a reward of from the spirit. Okay, um, because basically this person, no matter what they've gone through, I feel as time goes by, their life would be much easier. Um, their struggles and difficulties were in the earlier halves of their lives. Okay, maybe in the first half of their lives. But following that, I feel like, especially when it goes towards their older age, I feel like, you know, they would be surrounded by nice people. They would have truly, um, they would reap the rewards of their good karmas here. Now, for them, it's like the way life moves in. It's sometimes they feel they've got no control over it. They do their best. They do as much as they can. So they would believe a lot in surrendering themselves. This would be one thing where you would heard where, you know, I've surrendered myself. I have, you know, um, I've done as much as I could in the hard work. Now I leave it to God or I leave it to guides, whoever they believe in, because they believe that there is a stronger force out there which is working for them. And they have experienced that because of their major incidents in life, where no matter how much hard work they put in, no matter how much they prayed, things just happened the way it was supposed to happen and not how this person wanted to happen. So they do believe like, especially here, which I'm sensing, I don't feel here that this person is manipulative, absolutely not. But I feel here this person feels like they are the puppets in life. It's like there is a higher force out there who is just you know, um, if you see, they're kind of very similar, right? The person who's pulling the strings is actually this person as well. So this person feels like their higher self is doing things for them. And that's the reason why they're surrendering. That's why they believe in surrender. They do not realize that sometimes, you know, we feel we're doing everything, but actually we're not. Actually, there's something which is, you know, it's already meant to happen. And that's why they do believe in creating good karmas because they know that some way or the other this would come back to them and the life would be much easier and it actually does it actually does like i said as time goes by things are kind of much more easier for them in their lives um i feel like bringing up one more card for you pal three i don't know why let's see please anything about the true love Take this ace of wands okay this just catches up everything where yes this person will come across to be someone very very passionate extremely passionate i must say that you know the intensity as well physical intensity between the two of you would be extremely strong paltry your attraction would be on a different level altogether and um, but this person would want things to just move fast 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 it's a lot of fire here uh, within this person's heart so they would want things to move quickly from one phase to another very very fast but because you know with time they do understand everything is not in their hand they would have to suppress that fire energy here but this is at the core who they are very impatient very um, you know enthusiastic and they just wish that life would roll in so quickly for them but I feel like this is one of the lessons here which is coming in life which is to teach them that everything has a divine timing and everything cannot move that quickly as much as this person wants to here so this is something which over time this person realizes all right, pal three, I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I did mention about all the services in the beginning. So if you're interested in any of them, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below. Or you could follow me on Instagram called Monica.WhisperTheMystery. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye.